What's up guys, it's X2Rabby2X here, and I'm bringing you another Minecraft modding made easy. And, um, I mean, yeah. Today, we're going to be looking at some, uh, I guess, bug fixes and mod organization. Now, you if you're creating a big mod, you really want to be organized so you can find the items really quick and you can find the bugs really quick. Now, what I did here was actually not intentional. Um, when I was making my Minecraft Magic mod, I accidentally deleted all my tutorial classes. So I had to rebuild all these classes. And I might as well, you know, make it more organized. So, uh, if you watch my previous tutorials, you would see that I made a class called mod underscore blockium block and, or like just blockium, and the mod underscore blockium crossbow. Now, that is, that was unnecessary of me, but I just made it to separate the different tutorials. But this this is pretty much what you can do. Um, I I made a new class called Modium. I mean Modium, <laughs> Mod underscore Blockium, and in here I'm going to put everything that has to do that has to like deal with Blockium. Now so far we only have the Blockium block and Blockium crossbow, but I am making a Blockium bar and a Blockium tools that will also fall in here, and those tutorials should be coming out today or tomorrow probably. So watch watch out for those. Now you have a normal declaration and initialization. So a block, and then I just pretty much copied and pasted this from the other uh, tutorial. And same with the blocking crossbow. I might have changed this was 180, but I changed it to 201 to make a different ID. And then I changed this from uh, I think it was 601. So whatever, we'll just keep it there. Now uh, we move on to down to the constructor, and oops. This is pretty much the same exact thing, but I put a little comment here and know what this is. So this is the block itself, and pretty much copy and paste the constructor, like the contents of the constructor. Now I move down the crossbow, another comment block, and pretty much again just copy and paste the constructor. But I did add a different uh, recipe, and before it just used to be two dirt blocks right next to each other. Now I made the blocking crossbow actually a T-shaped um, recipe with blocking blocks. So that's new. Um, I didn't really do it on camera, so yeah. This is just a comment block. It's a template for um, crafting recipes. I just leave it here just for reference if I need it. So yeah. Uh, if we move down to the next method, this method is copied and pasted right from a blocking class. And a block, yeah my blockium block class and pretty much again it just generates the surface generates uh, the blocks on the surface and whatever so it's the same thing then we have our two abstract methods and those are again just the same thing so if you watch from previous videos it's pretty much just a two mod underscore <coughs> <coughs> sorry for that it's pretty much a two mod underscore classes bind it together into one class and the contents of the body, uh, contents of the constructor are just in one constructor now let's see what what have we changed in block blockium now here I had to make a new class like I said so I added the uh, ID dropped the one int ran and another int which was wrong in my first tutorial and my uh, I think one or two tutorials ago I made the block when you mine the block it drops a block and crossbow well no longer does it do that I made it this this will be the code for that but um I made it so it drops the block itself just so I can make the recipe for the crossbow and quantity dropped I just return one because you just make it drop one now here uh, I do have one more thing to change item block and crossbow uh, is that before I tried to make it so no arrows would be needed in order to shoot arrows now I did this like I did block that dirt that block ID and it didn't work that's because you have to put it up here and down here and when you see has item block that dirt that block ID that's when you put it in there and that pretty much checks that if you have a dirt if you have dirt on you it is able to shoot an arrow and because we commented out this line, it doesn't actually use up any arrows. So it's pretty convenient for testing out bugs and whatnot. 
Now, um, we have the entity arrow right here, and we passed in 100 as a velocity. But we also, if we go into entity arrow, we also added this line of code right here. Now, that's a big, big no no when it comes to modding is that you really don't want to modify existing classes. That's the whole reason of mod loader because then you don't have to modify blocks.java and item.java. So, this modifying the already existing entity arrow is not a good idea because, well, simply it's. I don't know. If any other mod modifies this class, it, the, the two mods are not going to be compatible. So you don't want to do that. So we're we're actually going to get rid of this, in, and I'm going to show you how to make your own arrow. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go and create new class, and let's name it Entity Explosive Arrow. I don't know if you can hear that. There's like a ambulance siren right outside my window. Alright, so we have Entity Explosive Arrow. Let's go ahead and click Finish. And now what we want to do in here is simply go back to your Entity Arrow, click Control A, that selects the whole class, and then Copy, and Paste. You just simply paste the same exact class right in here. Now, you want to fix the constructor, so between every Entity Explosive Arrow you see, I mean Entity Arrow, you want to add in Explosive. Uh, explosive and explosive. Okay, so that fixed those errors, but we see there's two more errors down here, and that is because the method for dealing damage with an arrow does not accept entity explosive arrow. It only accepts entity arrow. So what we're gonna have to do for that one is go up to our private uh, variable declar declarations. And you're gonna want to make a private, ent I mean, let's make it public, public entity. Um, no, public entity arrow, and then name it. Uh, I don't know, entity arrow lowercase. So now we can go down to our damage source methods, and when it says cause arrow damage, this would pass in entity explosive arrow but we want it to pass in entity arrow so instead of the first this we would just want to put entity arrow because that's our object we just created and same for this one entity arrow now that should work we should go uh, first of all we should go back to entity arrow and when we have our method that causes the explosion we want to delete that actually so now the class itself is untouched. Nothing has been modified in this class that's different from the normal Minecraft.jar class. So we can go ahead and exit out of this if you want. Now another good reason why we're doing this is because um, let's say normal bows also shoot arrows. So we had when we had that um, explosion in there, it shot normal arrows even with a bow. So that means when you're shooting with a bow or with the crossbow, you're causing explosions to happen. Now we don't want that. We want that explosion to be limited just to the crossbow. And actually another bad thing that I noticed when I was playing and kind of figuring out the bugs is skele when I met skeletons, they also shot explosive arrows. We definitely don't want that. So that's why we want to make a brand new entity explosive arrow. And since we already fixed all this, Let's go back and here is our method that we created uh, for the explosion in our empty arrow, but we've moved it now to the explosive arrow. Now we can just leave it like this and it would work great. Like it would it would do whatever it's meant to do. But we saw that when you shoot an arrow into the water, the arrow never really disappears because the explosion doesn't do anything in water. So what we want to do is actually make it so it does not explode in water. So how we do that is make an, make an if statement, like you see if in ground, then when we, when we go down right above our little uh, line of code there that makes it explode, we want to make an if statement that says if is in water, which is a boolean, and says true if it's water, false if it's not in water. So if it's in water, parentheses, open and closing, equals equals true, no, if in false, 
then we won't just tab this in just for uh, aesthetic reasons so if the if is in water so if the arrow is in water is equal to false meaning if it's not in water then create this explosion at this position and this wide and radius now this what this is going to do is once whatever it goes through and if the arrow falls in water and it comes to here and if it says if is in water is going to equal to true and since these two sides of the equation are not equal it's never going to execute this line of code which means it's just going to sit there it's not going to create an explosion so i mean we're pretty much done with our entity explosive arrow and let's go back to item blocking crossbow now we still have our entity arrow right here so let's just change this into entity explosive arrow and change this side to expl explosive arrow so this everything in here pretty much works if you want you can rename this object but you're gonna have to rename it here too and I think that's it but we're, I'm just gonna leave that there I don't feel like really changing it, it doesn't really matter so I mean now we have our explosive arrows and there's a hundred velocity and whatever whatever so this should work so I mean let's check it out let's check out if uh, our mod works so went up to FCP and now again the whole reason for this is to provide more mod compatibility because with your mod you want to add on to the game you don't want to modify the existing game because that's what causes errors that's what causes incompatibility between mods and other other stuff so yeah and like I said before you don't want skeletons shooting explosive arrows and you also don't want to shoot explosive arrows when you're shooting with a bow so let's go to our I actually found a little little uh, I guess you could say hole already and I got some wood prepared so we don't have to knock down wood now we need one dirt because remember it checks for dirt to see if we can shoot so let's go ahead and get that one dirt now you want to make a workbench and I need a pickaxe to mine um, some blocky ore so let's go ahead and do that so far so good I mean we got our blocky more spawning so our mod class mod underscore class is working fine uh, we need how much do we need we need five ore to make a crossbow so there we go we just made a crossbow blocking crossbow now let's just say um, I'm just gonna drop this dirt there and I'm gonna right click with this crossbow it does nothing right now it is absolutely nothing all right my bad guys um, my mom came home and I had to go uh, greet her and whatnot and I kinda died by a spider while I was waiting I don't know how that happened but um, whatever we're just gonna do it again, and I forgot where I where I was at, but I know I showed you that the crossbow does not shoot when you don't have uh, soil. And I hear a zombie or something. So yeah, the crossbow does not shoot when you have soil. But let's make us another crossbow. When you do have soil, it's like your ammo, but you don't really use your ammo. I mean, that's really just for bug testing purposes. Normally, I would probably make it so there's some kind of an ammo or some kind of a really hard thing that you have to get in order to not have ammo. So, see, like right now I'm clicking, I'm right clicking, I can't shoot because I don't have dirt. Now let's get us some dirt. And we have dirt. Bam. And our crossbow works now. And we did this without modifying the original entity, uh, uh, entity arrow class, which is perfect because it's more compatibility for mods. Now, uh, this might be like a little shorter, I guess, tutorial, or a little longer. I don't know, depending on what you think a normal tutorial should have been. But it's pretty much just for... Oh yeah, and uh, let's shoot it into water to see if it blows up. Hope it doesn't blow up. Now one bad thing about this is when you make new entities, I don't really know how to retexture them because it's really... I don't... I don't really know what to do because I've been searching for this for a long time, but I don't know how to retexture them. But you see, it's pretty much just like a, a white block. And I'm having this problem in my other mod. See, like I, I get an arrow back, but still, it just it just shows a white block. Oh yeah, it doesn't explode when you just shoot the monster, which is pretty cool. 
but if you shoot like around them, it still explodes. Um, but yeah, it's just the white block. I don't know how to retexture that. I've been looking, and I don't know how to fix it. But you know, it's just the white block. It's I, it's something you're gonna have to deal with, I guess. And modding should make that big of a deal. Why? Oh, I just found a bug. Oh well. So when you shoot <laughs> an arrow into something solid that has water behind it and it blows it up, as soon as the arrow lands in there, I guess, um, the water goes over it, which creating an infinite explosion. So, oh well. Yeah, oh well. Um, hmm. I mean, that's pretty much it. So, yeah, make sure to bug test your mods always because you don't... You know that it might not be a syntax error, it could be a runtime error that you made, like I did with the uh, skeleton shooting explosive arrows at me. So bug testing is a huge part of mod making, and uh, yeah. Hope you enjoyed the video, make sure to like it if, leave a like if you liked it, uh, leave a comment if you have any suggestions or questions or anything, and uh, um subscribe to my channel for more videos, tutorials, and let's plays, and I'll be doing some more of uh, progress on my magic mod. And the last thing, make sure to watch out for new tutorials coming out, maybe today, probably today. Um, I'll be making a blockium bar, so we can smelt blockium ore into a bar, and I will also be making blockium tools, and I'll probably get the armor tomorrow. So, um... Yep, thanks for watching again, and uh, see ya.